first time this postseason that the Warriors have lost consecutive games and now they're pushed to the brink by a Houston Rocket team that didn't have its A game and you heard Mike D'Antoni obviously is not pretty but it's a W and it's a huge one yeah this, uh, this game could have obviously went either way but I'm gonna take my head off uh, to uh, Eric Gordon he to me was the difference in the game he made so many big shots down the stretch uh, Chris Paul made a couple of uh, Hail Marys, but Eric Gordon won this game for the Rockets. Uh, and not only that, you know, sometimes you have to be a great defensive team, but if you're not a great defensive team, if you have good defense in spurts. And like you said, anybody could have won the game. And the Rockets, especially Trevor Ariza, had got great defensive spurts to, you know, help them miss shots or, you know, cause uh, uh, turnovers. Well, the things that you, when you come into this series, you said, Golden State is really good at. Those are some of the things that they're struggling at. They're great in ball movement. They're struggling in ball movement. They're great at late game execution. They're struggling yeah, in late yeah, game composure execution. Composure and poise. Composure and poise. And they will be able to mo put multiple guys in multiple positions to succeed. And they have it. So those are the three things that they have been their strength has now become some of their weakness in, in this series, which is surprising. And so now as the Rockets take the advantage going back to Oakland, this is a an unbelievable confidence booster for guys like Ariza, uh, Tucker, and Gordon, who will get a lot more opportunities, I think, on the road. I think they'll be possibly ready for that. Uh, real, real quick, though, Chuck, the question, the question is going to be about Chris Paul's situation here, too. Let's look at the uh, injury late in the game. <laughs> Because as he as he drives on Quinn Cook right there and comes down, unable to get back on defense, but and then taken out of the game, and so now you wonder about his availability not, for not just him. Game six. Mike D'Antoni is stubborn, Ernie. He's only playing seven guys. You got to wonder, not just Chris Paul, all those other guys. Now that we're playing every other day, is he going to be able to go four straight games playing seven guys? That's pretty much what he might have to do. I mean, I, he, yeah, he, he's done that before and it didn't work. Like it. Yeah, true. Uh, and now you got before. one of your best players who's hurt, maybe. But, you know, these games, that was great when you had three or four days in between. But now we're playing every other day. And I think even even Steve Kerr realized last game he didn't play a lot of guys. He stretched his bench out tonight. Sure. That might come back to help him in the next game. And if D'Antoni going to stick to playing seven guys, it might hurt them next game and game seven if, yeah. we, if we get to seven. Yeah, you saw some uh, some interesting combinations by Steve Kerr in the course of this game at times. Just like it was like his buying time lineup while the while the stars were sitting and he put David West in there with Quinn Cook and Sean Livingston and that and that kind of thing. But we'll see if Iguodala is available mm -hmm. for game six as he doesn't play for the second straight game. Kristen Ledlow is trying to work on that uh, Chris Paul story and any details that we get on that we will bring you when they are available uh, let's talk about Draymond Green and talk about what happened down the stretch with the Warriors because it was uh, it was mistakes and they were magnified at the at the time that they occurred and you're sitting you're sitting right here with a, a four-point game that turns into a six-point game midway yeah, there's still enough time. He, he wasn't sharp, but there's still enough time with six minutes to go. But, you know, here, here, 10 seconds left. Just grab it. You get the rebound. You make the pass. And now you yeah, call but, timeout. But, but that actually, he kind of had kind of had to dribble that ball. Uh, but he would have probably lost it. But this yeah, right here, just concentration. Yeah, he was trying to go too fast. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to go too fast. Yeah. But that didn't cost him anxious to make a You know, I don't think it cost him the game, but it could have helped him win it. Yeah, it could have <laughs> helped him win it. Because they did a lot of other things and, and did a lot of great things, the Rockets, to put themselves in position. And again, poise, execution, and experience doesn't look like it's Golden State.